Hello and this is another tutorial on API testing with Python series. In this tutorial I'm briefly going to introduce to the concept of mocking. Mock is basically a fake, fake object. So in API testing what we are trying to fake is um, uh, API response or response object. So uh, what is the reason for doing this is um, if you have any third party APIs that are integrated with your application, uh, usually on you know, third party uh, APIs you won't have any control so uh, it might be pain to um, write test uh, for those. Also uh, if the services may not be available to you in uh, uh, your demo or test server. Um, also. Also, suppose if you're using um, APIs like geolocation or uh, uh, maybe temperature or weather APIs, the data input data for your test might vary. So maybe it's better uh, idea to go with mocks uh, in those cases. Also, it's possible that sometimes your third-party uh, vendors might be down to maintenance, or it, it's also a possibility. So uh, what I have, uh, I'm going to. You make use of the same same uh, uh, API that I have used in the past tutorial here. And this is the API endpoint, and I'm going to make a call, and this is the response. I'm going to consider this as a third-party um, API, and I'm going to try and mock this API. So I have two files here. One is users.py that has a class named users, and has a method named uh, to list users which basically makes the clock uh, makes the same call and returns the response so in test underscore users dot by i have i'm basically calling the same method i'm making assertion to the status code and making an assertion to first uh, first name here this name so let me just run this uh, test and make sure everything is fine as of now okay so i have run the test test seems to be passing so just to uh, simulate, uh, just to show you the example, for example sake, I'm just going to make this as uh, API2, and this is the wrong URL, so I should be, um, now, if I run the test, the status code will not match, and I should be getting yeah, some error, as you can see, the expected is 200, but I'm getting 404 here, so, so I'm just go, go, going to go ahead and try to mock this API. So even though the actual API is failing, now after the mocking, it should be it should show that it should uh, result uh, as a pass. So uh, okay, first thing is to import mock from uh, unit test model. I'm just going to say from unit test dot mock where to import patch. What patch helps me helps me to do is to uh, mock certain uh, calls. So what I'm going to use this as a decorator here. Um, here I'm going to say patch. Then here I'm going to give the file name followed by the class name. Just then after the class name, I'm going to enter the method name that is list underscore users, right? So this mock object will be passed down here to the test method as uh, an argument. So I'm going to name that as mock underscore list underscore users. So now I just need to set the expectations. At this point I'm going to write say mock underscore list underscore users dot return underscore value. Uh, dot status underscore code should be 200. I'm just setting the expectations here. So next thing, maybe uh, I'm since I'm making an assertion on the first name here, uh, I'm just going to write mark uh, underscore list underscore users dot return value dot JSON dot return value since json is the method call going there so here i just i will just update this part i just paste that part okay i'll insert here this will be a dictionary and 
so there should be a closed uh, square bracket here this, since this is an JSON array okay so if I run the test now it should basically now it should pass since I'm mocking the APIs and setting some expectation results here okay just run the test um, okay as you can see now the test is this uh, passing okay so uh, this is a one a simple use case how you can do uh, you can do mocking with the uh, APIs uh, if you go to the documentation here what I have done here is just a tiny baby step in the concept of mocking so there are a lot of variations uh, there are a lot of things you can do with those um, you can also make use of create magic mock object also you can assert do the assertion where you can make sure you, the the method the call is done with certain parameters or not also there is something for concept uh, there is a you can also add side effects where you can raise uh, you know, exceptions uh, and stuff like that there are many, many much more things you can do with the mocking so this is just a very basic example so yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching.